Hello, I'm Jo Hayward and we're in one of Europe's busiest shopping centres, talking energy with Don Leeper from E.ON. Don, energy efficiency, isn't it all just a bit of a fad? Um, well, we're in the middle of Nottingham today and if you look around you can see the Christmas lights are going on on the trees and, uh, and on, the, on the streets as they are across the whole country. And it's a reminder if we needed any of just how crucial energy is to our everyday lives now. Um, heats our homes, keeps the lights on, fuels our vehicles and of course powers the service that uh, YouTube runs on as well. Um, and I think the, uh, the whole climate change energy efficiency debate is well known to most people now um, and um, the, the role that energy plays in that is well documented. Some people are passionate about it, some people may be more sceptical. Um, in addition to that, um, the price of energy is of course much higher now than it was five or ten years ago and I think that high price is here to stay. So maybe the best and easiest and quickest way of um, making a difference to the climate and also to saving yourself a few pounds is just to use less energy. So at E.ON um, we're going to try and use our expertise to help people to understand how to do just that. But surely if people are using less power, you're ultimately going to be making less money. Well that's a really good question and we get asked that question quite regularly. And I think you have to start from your beliefs. Um, we, we firmly believe in the science of climate change and as a result of that um, we believe we have a strong responsibility as does government, as do all individuals, to help to reduce carbon emissions and, and your own carbon footprint. Um, and as well as owning and running uh, big offshore wind farms and those kind of things, um, in, in my part of the business, in energy services, we believe we need to um, provide uh, creative, innovative ways to help people to produce energy more locally um, and to help themselves to therefore reduce their, their reliance, if you like, on, on that stuff. For example, we, we install hundreds of heat pumps with local authorities and heat pumps are a much more um, environmentally friendly and efficient way to heat your homes. And these are technologies that are available around the world. They're well proven, well tri tried and tested. We're just not maybe very familiar with them yet in the UK. Yeah, but why should you be telling us what to do? Well, we shouldn't be telling anybody what to do, but we should be working with people to help people to understand better what the issues are and how to help to, uh, to, to reduce your energy consumption. Yeah, but, but then whose responsibility is it? Is it down to the government or is it up to people themselves to take the initiative to, to do all these things? Well, everyone's got a part to play. So if you think about um, 10, 20, 50 years out, um, no matter how energy efficient we get, we're still going to need a huge amount of en energy to be produced to be able to run our everyday lives. And every year, the carbon intensity of that energy has to be reduced. So the government has a role to play by putting in a framework which enables companies like ourselves to invest um, in the big ticket items, if you like. Um, and we've, we've also got millions of customers. So we, we, we've got to work with government and we've got to work with customers. And we got, regard ourselves as a bit of a bridge between the two um, to help people to, to reduce their consumption. OK, so ultimately, how easy is it going to be to get people to become more energy efficient? Well, some people have got it already. They need no help from, from, from anybody at all. Others need some simple tips and techniques and tools to, to help them to do that. So, for example, um, energy monitors are fairly common now. I've um, oh, got yeah. an example here. We've got one at our own home. And with a little bit of investigation, you can quickly understand um, exactly what it is that you use, each appliance uses, and that will help you to change your own behaviour. And that's the important thing, is to help you to change your behaviour, to just use less energy without impacting the comfort of your own life. Um, another big area, though, is, uh, is people's existing homes, which will need to be retrofitted to be more energy efficient for the future. That's, that's a, a big area which both companies like ourselves and government have got a big role to play. OK, lots to think about. Don, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.